Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my topic is how to provoke supernatural favor into your life. To experience the unlimited favor of God, you don't have to wait for favor. You must provoke favor. And favor comes to those who value it. There is no true and lasting success without the story of favor. And you succeed faster with favor than without it. And God is the true source of favor. The purpose of divine favor is to enable you to fulfill your assignment here on earth. To experience favor, you must know that God rewards obedience with favor. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the fruit of the land. Favor is a gift from God and he rewards you when you obey him. God can single you out of the crowd with favor and actually cause people to solve problems in your life through favor. The angel of the Lord said to Mary, Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. Well, Mary was not the only virgin at the time, but the favor of God singled her out of the crowd. Favor is the gift from God that enables you to achieve your assignment here on earth. When we talk about favor, it is an exception to the rule because favor can come upon you and you will bypass every rule that there is. Favor is not static. You can actually increase favor. You can provoke favor. You can multiply favor. You can move from one level of favor to another. In order to increase in favor in your life, you must favor God's kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And the word all these things signifies favor. And so every time we favor God's kingdom, God will always grant us favor. In order to increase the favor of God in our lives, we need to grow in wisdom. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Jesus grew in wisdom and as a result received favor from God and from men. When we increase in wisdom and grow in wisdom, that enables us to receive more supernatural supply of favor from God. In order to receive favor from God, we need humility because humility creates favor. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Therefore, when you humble yourself before God and men, you are able to enjoy and receive favor from God and with men. Another way to provoke the favor of God is through diligence. The soul of the lazy man desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be rich. In other words, if you are not lazy, rather work professionally and selflessly, you will always find favor before God. Another way to receive favor 
is genuine repentance. And a typical example about this is the narrative of the prodigal son. The moment he had a change of heart and returned back to his father, the prodigal son received favor from his father. His father showed him favor. When you genuinely repent of your sins, God always welcomes you back into the family of God and he grants you favor. Not only will God show you favor, but men and women will also show you favor. And finally, when we walk with people of integrity, that increases our favor. In the book of Ruth, Boaz had a reputation of integrity. And the moment Ruth associated with him, she began to enjoy favor because of Boaz, who was a man of integrity. So when we walk with people of impeccable integrity, that increases favor in our lives. People will show us favor because we associate ourselves with people of integrity. So it is my prayer that God will use favor to remind people of something good you have done so they can show you favor. As you seek God's kingdom and grow in wisdom and knowledge and live in humility, I prophesy into your life that this week and for the rest of your life, somebody in power somebody of influence, somebody who is worthy will show you favor. May you receive a supernatural supply of favor from God and with men in your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together and we thank you for teaching us about your favor. We thank you that you have taught us that we need to seek your kingdom, live in humility and grow in wisdom. And when we do these things, walking with men and women of integrity, you will always grant us favor. And so almighty God, I pray for your children who have heard this message, that we will be doers of your word and not hearers only and that you will grant us a supernatural supply of your favor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. My dear friends, uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, and share this message. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>